What were you doing back on June 1st, 2009? It's hard for us to forget since we were reviewing one of the best-selling smartphones of all time, the HTC Touch Pro 2, aka Tilt 2. Even if it's only been four years since its launch, these were very different times. Back then, slide-out curated keyboards, a stylus on resistive touchscreens, and Microsoft's Windows Mobile operating system were important. Codenamed the HTC Rhodium, the Touch Pro 2 was ahead of its time. It may seem small for you today, but back then it was one of the biggest phones of its time. It was beautifully crafted with a metallic chrome ring on the borders and was packed to the gills and features. Its gorgeous 3.6 inch WVGA display put the HVGA panel on the iPhone 3G of the time to shame. And its 528 MHz processor along with 256 megabytes of RAM and 512 megabytes of expandable storage were great specifications for the time as well. Now the real story about the hardware was HTC's purpose for this phone. It was meant to be a business and multimedia powerhouse, and indeed it was. It was one of the first phones with dual microphones and had an amazing stereo speaker system at the back. This allowed you to have a better experience watching video and with conference calls, which is the reason why they even included a mute button at the back. This was also hands down the best slide out keyboard ever made. It was one of the first offset keyboards in the market and the second HTC phone to include a tilting screen, so the experience writing long emails was unmatched. One of the things I missed the most about this phone was the software. Its last update was the HTC Sense 2.5 running on top Windows Mobile 6.5. HTC Sense or TouchFlow 3D as it was known was the most elegant and complete UI of the time. Back then when you needed third-party applications for basic things like Twitter, YouTube, the weather, or stock information, HTC Sense had it all out of the box. If Samsung's motion gestures amaze you on Galaxy phones today, HTC Sense was first in allowing you to respond to phone calls by just flipping the phone on its back and using the speaker, aside from other automated services. This was also a truly open operating system where you can access the file system and even the device's registry and tweak whatever you wanted with it. Heck, I even ran Android on a micro SD card at some point, so there was really no limit to what you could do with this phone. Using this phone was great because back then one-handed usability was actually a feature and the hardware buttons were designed to let you navigate everything with ease. Once you add that experience to others like the keyboard, the productivity focus of the software with Office Mobile integration, plus some amazing call quality and battery life, and this phone made a lot of happy users back then. Sadly, one of the main reasons why this platform died was its move to persistent storage back with Windows Mobile 5. The more updates the phone received and the more clunkier it became, and its resistive touchscreen was also not as sensitive as the capacitive displays of its time, and the fact that Microsoft was reluctant to adopt WebKit on Pocket Internet Explorer just made the phone perform like an old lady when compared to the iPhone or even some of the Android phones of back then. And no, I'm not going to waste your time talking about photo or video quality because back then these things weren't really important and the 3.2 megapixel camera on this phone without a flash didn't do a really good job. Bottom line, even with Windows Mobile holding this phone back from the experience we deserved, we missed these times. Back then, less wasn't more. HTC did an amazing job in giving you the best experience for your money. The Touch Pro 2 went on to be one of the best-selling Windows Mobile phones of all time, available in all carriers and different variants, and yes, it did deserve praise. It was a beautiful phone, and we all can't wait to see HTC gain the sort of popularity that it had with this phone once again. That's it for our throwback of the HTC Touch Pro 2. Thank you very much for watching. Did you own this phone? Did you like it back in the day? Because I really enjoyed my time with it. Leave us your comments down below and make sure you also follow us on social media. Subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you on the next video.